Hello, and this is a video review for the Halo Mega Bloks um, Covenant Wraith. Now, this is the second generation Wraith, the brand new one that's released in 2012, um, not the old version. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I can't get the whole set in shot. It's just a very small area that I'm having to record from, and it it's very tricky but I will be able to show you the entire set um, I'll do that now there you can see the entire set and how it kind of looks together um, but yeah the the minifigures will leave till a bit later but first um, I'm just going to show this I'm not entirely sure what this is um, I don't know if it's from the game, I can't remember it being in the game, or any of the games. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be, but if you, if you know, do let me know. But it's a very nice little structure, you've got, um, um, this kind of translucent plastic on the front, that piece there, translucent pieces here some stickers along up there um, but yeah that is really about it for that and and it's on a little um, terrain type piece at the bottom um, now we'll take a look at the minifigures so the first minifigure you get is a let's see if we can stand him up get the camera to focus in on the minifigure so I can show you the detail Um, and that's what the minifigure looks like. He's painted in gold, um, grey um, as well, and um, red for his eyes. He comes with a purple focus rifle, which is very nice. Um, um, and that is him. So, uh, yeah, next minifigure you get, you get the Commando Elite. He's also painted in gold. He comes with a plasma launcher. As you can see there. And he's a very nice uh, minifigure. He comes with the um, old elite arms and the legs are the new legs. Uh, in fact, yeah, I think the legs are new. They're the same legs as this guy, but yeah, the new torso, elite torso. And then he's got the commando head. Um, but yeah, very nice minifigure. And then the only UNSC um, element in this set is an EOD Spartan. And he's painted in like a green, um, deep dark green, I suppose you could call it... Well, I'm not entirely sure what you'd call this colour, but it's kind of like a green. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. There we go. There's the EOD. Um, and his weapons, he com his primary weapon is a rocket launcher, the newly designed one. And the second weapon is the brand new target locator, which looks awesome. Um, the only problem I have with the target locator, it's uh, it's nicely done. But it's not got any detail, like painted detail on it or anything like that. But apart from that, it, it, it's, uh, it is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that is the EOD. Also, you do get a scout arms and head, um, as well as the ODST torso piece which you can take the waist armour off this and the legs and put them on this guy um, and uh, that's pretty cool I'll just give you a look at that the scout and there's the scout, very nicely detailed 
um, very well done. Same colour as the EOD Spartan. Um, but uh, yeah. So they're the minifigures. Now on to the actual set itself. And the actual set is very nice. Um, it's a much better design than the old Wraith. You can see one minifigure on the turret and the minifigure can hold the handles and that does go from left to right there are painted not painted sorry stickers all over the wraith battle damage bullet holes um, logos covenant logos and things like that all over the um, wraith but probably the best part of this wraith is the opening um, top and it reveals um, oh, what are these things called um, I forgot what it is it's something like a mortar or something like that that these are called um, don't know if I've said that right it's something like a mortar or something um, and that all folds up back into there and that closes up and that's uh, very nice and compact the back fins can be are slightly adjustable as well as the other side and also the front sections can be angled to give it a nice look to see how it looks in the game the end of the fins here can be adjusted um, and yeah um, it's very nice one complaint I've not shown you the um, cockpit as it were but yeah first the only complaint I have with this is that mega blocks don't create numbered bags so you have to tip all the pieces in with each other I suppose you can set them out as you open them in bags so you can open one bag put that in a pile open another bag put it in a pile but you'd have to work over a large area of space and um, to do that but um, yeah you, the, you have to put all the pieces more or less together there's no set numbers on each bag so it, it, it it's really difficult to actually um, build the building is good the instructions are quite nice to follow but it just takes you longer because you have to find the pieces out of a big pile so it you know it that's my only real complaint um, with this set but yeah overall it's very nice and as I forgot to mention it does have an opening and closing cockpit and that can seat one minifigure inside inside there and that does close up it, if you get them in right it does close up there. so very nice uh, but yeah um, that is really about it um, there's not too much to it but it's a vast improvement over the previous Wraith but it is rather expensive um, I paid £50 for this Wraith um, I think it's like I don't know how much it is in the US but £50 is a lot of money I think that works out I'm not sure how it works out but that's maybe 50 58 dollars something like that um, maybe more or less I'm not entirely sure but it works out to a lot of money um, to pay for this Wraith and it's not huge so yeah um, you are paying rather a lot for what you get but having said that it is a very nice wraith i like it and uh, i think it's very cool so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching and please subscribe